I'm sitting alongside Carmine Grippo, who is the Vice President for Public Relations candidate for this year. Carmine, how are you? I'm great. How are you, Kay? I'm good. Now tell me a little bit about your SGA involvement so far. Gotcha. So as soon as I came here freshman year, I met Esau Green the day I moved in. In Irma, he came up to me, he said, coming up to all the people, he was the Vice President of X at the time. And he asked me, he said, what do you want to get involved in here at Quinnipiac? And I told him off the bat that I want to be involved in SGA. I was involved in it in high school, and this is what I want to do, and this is what I came here to do. Two weeks later, we had our first information session. I saw Sophia Marshall, Austin Calvo talk about how much passion they had for student government and all the things they did, and I knew that was a place for me. I want to leave a lasting impact on Quinnipiac. This is the place to do it. I ran for freshman president. I won. I ran again this year, sophomore year, with COVID and everything, too. It's a little different. I won again this year. I'm going for vice president of public relations, and I just have a lot planned. I think this is the place for me to really, I'm a loud person, and I feel like I could really emphasize my voice even more with this position, so I'm very excited. Yeah, what are some of the SJ initiatives that you've done so far? Yeah, so right off the bat, I got to the school. I'm a huge, I love the gym, and that was the first thing I noticed was the gym was kind of lacking in like equipment and stuff like that, so. They didn't have clips in the gym, which is like kind of a safety hazard. And they also had the bars were so old that everybody's hands were bleeding when they left the gym. So I met with John Summers off the bat and we got new bars, we spent five grand on new bars and we got new clips, which is cheap too. Another initiative I did is the class of 2024. Usually they have their welcome weekend, but with COVID they didn't, they weren't going to have that. So we got t-shirts. We usually get those like gold t-shirts, but instead we got class of 2024. I don't know if you guys have seen them with the, uh, Bobcat like rip like across the thing are pretty cool. So we got those for them uh, Right now. I'm currently working on Larson Pearl and Troop next year. They're gonna be freshman housing So I want to get a pool table in all those buildings. They're brand new. They're great There's a lot of space if we're gonna have freshmen like get to know each other better A biggest complaint from freshmen is not being able to get to be with each other and everything like that So a pool table a ping-pong table something like that is a way to break them out of their dorms Go meet each other have more friends a lot more fun, too. So those are yeah. some things I work on. So what sets you apart from the other candidates? Something that sets me apart is I am running for a position that is social media based. And personally, I'm the last person to be on social media in my spare time. I'm somebody who's out. I want to meet everybody. At this school, I walk from Larson to here and I say hi to 20 people because I love meeting people and getting to know people. My goal as vice president is to reach everybody i want an uninvolved kids on this campus to be involved in something and there is something here for everybody one of my roommates is very quiet didn't really know what he wanted to do he loves excel that's all he likes to do so i told him that let's start a club together i'm on sga i can help you write your constitution everything like that now next year he has his excel club excel club coming and this is the kind of thing that i just want kids to know like if there's something if you love star wars let's make a star wars club you know what i mean like we can do whatever you want to do with the school there's probably clubs out here and there's kids that are Obviously for me, it's easy to go and talk to somebody because that's just how I am. I love like people and everything like that. But somebody who's more introverted that has a hard time breaking out of a shell, like that is my job. And I, what I do, I have a whole plan, a whole social media platform that I'm gonna do once a week if I'm elected. I'm gonna have somebody from any club, whether it's like Q30 or something like that, somebody who's involved, talk about why they got involved, why they love this club. And that's gonna go post it on SGA's Instagram. And the kid could see that and be like, that, that sounds like me, you know what I mean? And that's some way they're gonna get involved into the clubs and organizations and stuff like that. Yeah. Now, what's your platform? What are you running on and what do you hope to accomplish gotcha. if elected? So I have three main pillars that need to be accomplished. One is reach uninvolved students. Number two is keep the, and I just talked about the uninvolved students, but number two is the reputation of SGA in itself. And as public relations, it's, it is, as much as it is a fun role and you can be creative and have a good time with it, it's also a time to be serious and maintain the reputation of SGA in itself. We need to be dressed professional. We need to take this seriously. We can't be going, especially with COVID now too, like you can't be going to parties. You have to maintain your social media image, everything like that. And I, I'm one guy who's like a fun and I love to have a good time in college, but I understand the importance of keeping that reputation. And I also would like to improve the students at our school, how they view SGA, because a lot of times, I'm an SGA kid, I've been here for two years, but I wouldn't consider myself the typical SGA kid because not all my friends are just SGA kids. I don't just hang out with them. I go and I meet everybody at this school. So that's something that I want kids that aren't in SGA to understand that we, like SGA in itself, we do work. Like we get things done. We can do what you want us to do. Just let us know. Like Barstool in itself always posts about like raw chicken. And then there's Tom Mellon who's working, his, he's working very hard to 
get <laughs> he's working really hard to like get everything changed and do all this stuff and we're working so hard in our dining initiatives i want pe kids to know that like we're working towards this you just need to let us know so i want though we're supposed to have a connection between students and sga and i feel like i can bridge that a lot better than it is a band-aid what needs to be fixed and why kids feel like they're not comfortable to come to sga i feel like that's my job as Vice President of Public Relations. Well, you can vote for Carmine on Tuesday and all the other candidates as elections open up at 8 a.m. and you can watch Carmine at the debates starting Sunday at 7 p.m.